What's up you guys, this is a tutorial for the double leg, alright? In Capoeira they call it Armada Dupla, alright? There's a bunch of other names that you can call, some people confuse it with the side flip. The difference between the side flip and the double leg. The side flip, obviously, you tuck and you go sideways. The double leg starts off like the free running side flip, where they come with the right foot in front, alright? And they finish off kind of like a back flip. Uh, difference, uh, I guess uh, the formal difference is side flip, like I said, tucked, double leg, is at a 90 degree angle, alright? But what people recognize the double leg as is the keeping your legs together, your feet together, and your knees like locked, and your legs straight. All right, that is like the main important key to a double leg is keeping that. Because what that is, is your feet are like an iron ball and your legs are a chain, all right? And your body is the hand that's going like this. So you're actually swinging your legs over. So it's not like, um, it's not, you can't really tuck. Because if you tuck, then it doesn't become a double leg anymore. I'm gonna demonstrate one real quick. Okay, um, one very important thing, landing the balls of your feet, never land on your heels or flat footed because that's a lot of stress and there's a lot of injuries that can come from doing that after doing them a long time. Alright, um, if you have your side flip down, this will help a lot because you will understand a little bit of the movement of it. Um, one good way to uh, work on this is to start off like a, uh, like a tornado kick where you come here and you throw this leg up. And then when you jump off your other leg here, you bring it with your leg and then finish. So what that looks like is you here, come up like that, okay? That'll help you get the landing part down. The jumping part is probably going to be the hardest part to understand because whenever you're learning it, you're going a little bit against uh, what you're used to doing with your body. And not everybody's used to coming here, jumping up, throwing themselves backwards towards the sky because they don't know where they're going to land. Usually people come out and they freak out and they fall on their head, etc, etc. So I recommend when you're learning this and you're not sure if you can do it or not, do it into a foam pit on a soft landing, into sand, into water. Please be safe, train smart. All right. Now when you do this, the setup is here, all right, I just add a little hop. The higher you jump is not going to help you get higher whenever you do the double leg. All you need is just a little boom, all right. When I set up, I don't land flat footed, I stay on the balls of my feet, all right. So I'm here, boom, just like that, all right? Knees a little bit bent, all right? Pass out, when you jump, launch yourself up here. Your body is gonna launch straight up first, all right? I launch myself towards this shoulder. Since I rotate that way, I'm gonna come up here like that. My legs are gonna come off at the same time and I'm gonna swing them over. As they swing them over, once I'm about to this position here, I turn my hips this way, all right? That's what makes me come out like that. All right, so they're over here. Turn your hips and finish off like that. So I'm gonna do one in that direction, one at an angle, and then one straight towards you. All right, um, like I said before, if you can do the side flip, then that'll help you get a more better understanding of uh, the double leg. And again, the double leg, a way to recognize it. Lisa, come here. No, good girl. Like I said, the way of recognizing double leg, straight legs, feet together, legs locked. This here is not double leg. That is a good double leg, okay? Also, like I said before, go off the balls of your feet, Land on the balls of your feet. When you're learning this, try not to land too stiff. Try and work on landing into a crouch. That way you won't have to force yourself into landing it right. Because not everybody can just go and learn something and do it just like that. It may take time to get it down. Work on this. This will definitely help you with that landing if you're having trouble with the landing part. All right, all that is, just like a tornado kick. If you don't know what a tornado kick is, YouTube it, you're on the internet, use it. So you're here, leg up. Again, go off the balls of your feet, leg up. Bring this one to it, turn your hips, and land, okay? So, the practice. Okay. And then, the double leg.
That's a tutorial for the double leg. 